ici, là, c'est la fresque de... So here there's a mural by the artist J.R. called The Story of clichy sur bois montfermé It's the portrait of 750 residents. Jean-Riad Keshao grew up here in the suburb of Montfermé alongside director Laj Lee. Look, you can see Laj there with his camera. He's holding it like a weapon. He took it everywhere. He would use it to watch the cops, to film every time they attacked people. In 2005, these suburbs went up in flames after two young men escaping a police chase ran into an electricity substation in nearby clichy sous bois and were killed. For the young, mostly non-white population of these deprived estates, it was a trigger that sparked weeks of violent protests against police brutality. Laj Lee was there, filming everything. Everything you see in the film is closely inspired by things that really happened, real incidents of police brutality, like one, for example, in 2008 that Laj filmed here. A young man was beaten up by three policemen while he was handcuffed. Laj filmed it and the video was on national TV in France. Laj Lee's documentary work made him famous in France. His debut feature, Les Miserables, was filmed on the same streets where he grew up, using mostly amateur young actors from the area. It's a subject we never see discussed in French cinema, and it also allowed us to hear the voice of someone who doesn't come from a Parisian bourgeois background, but is really from the areas he is talking about and is really speaking with authenticity. This suburb, Montfermé, was once the village where Victor Hugo wrote Les Miserables in 1862. At the time, its depiction of poverty shocked France. The film of the same name also hopes to raise awareness of deprivation in an area that often feels forgotten. This building, where director Laj Lee grew up, is now being pulled down and the residents have been moved to more modern public housing. But local people here say not enough has changed since the riots of 2005. There have been a series of high-profile incidents of police violence against young black men from the Paris suburbs in recent years. Urban renovation is not enough. People here need to have the same opportunities and the same rights as people everywhere in France, which is still not the case. There is still more unemployment here, and there is still racial profiling. You are nine times more likely to be stopped and searched if you are black or brown in France than if you are white. Les Miserables won the jury prize at Cannes, has sold two million cinema tickets in France and could now even bag an Oscar, bringing director Laj Lee from some of France's most deprived streets to the red carpet in Hollywood. Elena Casas, TRT World, Montfermeil, France.